Have you ever wondered how the most expensive delays at Tolman sound like? Mm, well, I did too. Hey guys, Chris here for Tolman's Guitars and Basses. As many of you know, the two grandparents, the classic super delays, were the Eventide Time Factor and the Strymon Timeline. Now in 2020, there are quite a few newer options as well, so let's check them out. We've chosen the most interesting and most expensive delays. A short disclaimer, this is not going to be an in-depth all the specs kind of video on all of these pedals. It's gonna be more of an appetizer, and sort of a, a short comparison. And if you stick around till the end, we'll show you something absolutely insane and over the top. I highly recommend using headphones or good quality studio monitors or anything because this stereo sound is out of this world. Honestly, it's crazy. This was the GFI Specular Tempest driven stereo. On one side we have the D20 from Rev going through the Palmer 2x12 and the other side is the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe going into the 2x12 Harley Benton cap. The Specular Tempest is super small and does so much. Stereo in and out, it has an effects loop built in, it has auxiliary in and out with which you can control it with different switches and this can control other stuff too like your amp and everything. It does MIDI, it has pretty much everything built in and it can even store up to 32 presets. So uh, it's a lot in a tiny box but mainly it sounds insane. A few years ago, Source Audio brought out the Nemesis Delay, which was incredible. Then the Ventress, which was a reverb pedal, equally incredible. And then this one, the Collider, which combines a delay and a reverb, and it has dual DSP, and it has all the features the other ones have, plus it has analog drive through, which is awesome if you want to have like a, a wet dry setup, you don't have this latency of the digitalized dry sound. <laughs> Okay, have a good. 
kenne her, klingt das Mörder geil, das Ding. Es ist so unspektakulär wunderbar, oder? Es ist nicht so angeberisch, aber es ist einfach nur überall da und es ist unfassbar hübsch. Strymon Volante. It's the, the new kid on the block from Strymon. And uh, it does less than the timeline, but what it does speaks for itself. It's inspiring on such a, a new level in a different way that's, uh, that's just beautiful. It has reverb on it, a very simple one, but it sounds fantastic. And uh, you have t three different uh, delay types and you can change the repeats. It sort of simulates uh, three different delay heads as well, stereo, MIDI, all of that. It's insane. <laughs> ecosystem from Empress Effects. It's very interesting because it's a dual engine delay, which means that you have two completely separate delays. You can run serial, parallel, or completely hard panned or mono, depending on how you want to use it. And it's very easy to set up, even though it's very complex as all the other units today. But um, you don't necessarily need um, user's manual to understand most of the features of this one, which is something I love, to be honest. Tape Echo from Echo Fix. The guys are from Australia and they have years of experience in fixing old Echo units. That's where the name came from, Echo Fix. And uh, they created their improved and more reliable, more modern, proper analog tape unit, which is the EFX2. It's not only a multi-head delay unit, which is crazy already. It also has a proper spring reverb tank built in and it also has a DSP for digital reverb and digital chorus if you want to mix that into your signal. It has multiple inputs and outputs. At the front you have line and guitar in and at the back you have a balanced XLR in and output for all the other instruments you want to use it with or vocals if you want to. It's a proper analog, old school delay. It's huge, it sounds fantastic, and it's beautiful to look at. And it's the most expensive delay at Tone One at the moment. <sighs> all right, there's one more thing to do. Let's compare these units. I will set all of these to tape delay, and uh, I try to set them the same way as much as possible. It's not gonna be a scientific comparison. It's more about the mojo and the vibe you can expect from these.
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. In case you enjoyed this one, hit subscribe, ring the bell, that helps us a lot. And uh, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I'm still not sure. I think the Volante does inspire me the most, but I would love all of these. See you later. Bye-bye.